big old bee. Man, do I got my work cut out for me. This is all thick. You gotta go through that crap. <laughs> Damn, bees are all over the place. The place covered in flowers. And that field's covered in clover blossoms. Lots of food around here for them. Not to mention we're 200 yards from main water source around here mass crop of acorns got the hardwoods right next to this field it's a hell of a spot man seen some of my biggest deer in my life on trail camera here you know but I hunt a lot of suburbia so those are kind of hard to come by I did the right thing last year and I backed out real nice seven point I would love to got and then there was this 10 that uh, pardon expression I got a freaking heart on when I seen that sucker on the trail camera and he's only uh, I'm guessing a three and a half year old deer real good body Whew, damn bug real good body antlers were pretty good lots of tall tines I mean he had everything Everything you could possibly want, just about, except for, you know, no drop tying or nothing like that. But, uh, definitely, definitely a shooter. Anybody else around here would have shot his ass and I took a chance. If he's gotten that big, these two deer to seven point and ten point got that big. There's a reason. So I figure I try and let him go one more year. Hopefully I don't live to regret that. We'll find out here in a little bit. I put that uh, that trail camera back in the same spot. And I got trail cam pics of the uh, 10 point, or I mean 7 point last year, right before the opener of day, or uh, the opening day of bow season. And I uh, seen him a couple more times, daylight hours. Seen him at night on camera. And then, uh, about two weeks later, by mid-October, that's when the big boy showed up. I mean, he makes that one look small, and that seven point wasn't no joke. Anyways, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we get him this year. 